the royalty! I'm Raziel Kane, and this guy was one of my favorite Beast Wars Transformers. Inferno, I made a DND character after him. Uh, you know, just because he was so loyal and he had strong, not strong morals, but he had that defect where his beast mode took over his personality. And I just really, really dig that, uh, that loyalty. Uh, because myself, that's one of my flaw. I'm super loyal to the place I shop at. I always go at the same place. If I want pasta, I go to that only one shop. If I want pizza, I go to that only one shop. If I want to buy furniture, I always see the same salesman. And, you know, when they move on, I'm stuck. But it's just, you know, personal stuff. But yeah, Inferno was a must. And he looks fantastic. I hope he's fantastic. I can't wait to open this guy up and uh, shoot my review. But before I do so, check out my voice acting playlist, I mean feature of my channel, something I'm super proud of. Also check out my interview playlist, something I never dreamed of happening. I was lucky enough to interview voice actors and it's a fantastic experience, so check that out. Also wait until the end of the video to get your 10% discount code for my sponsor, DJC Collectibles. And now let's roll the intro. Let's start with the, the uh, well, what's in the box or the box itself. Standard stuff, you know, nice uh, artwork. Uh, right here, looks pretty good. I mean, the artwork has been flawless with uh, Legacy. Uh, this, I wish they would change maybe that from wave to wave, that'd be cool. Uh, nice product shot, Inferno in 26 steps. QR code if you want those, uh, those stats and that's pretty much it. I, they they kind of stopped doing cameos when it came to you know kind of showing off maybe what what figure we're gonna get next. Or, they did that uh, with uh, War for Cybertron a lot more. And then the instruction, it's your standard legacy stuff. You know, works good. Shows you how to do the. Uh, flying, uh, spinning thing. Looks pretty good, using the weapon for uh, the, uh, the flight mode. So it's pretty cool. It's actually really well done. And that's a feature that they probably didn't have to include, but they just decided to do it. And, it, you know, it's a nice nod to the show. Uh, the gun, or the flamethrower, looks really good. Now I have to say, I don't recall if that's exactly what he looked like in the show. Um, Probably will. I'll, I'll see it when I uh, go get the clips for uh, this review. <laughs> Looks really good. I like the gunmetal over the uh, clear red plastic. And that's the thing. I think this whole piece is clear plastic unless... Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any like gaps here so it's just the gunmetal painted over the red so this is a whole clear plastic piece so hopefully it won't be too brittle and now inferno itself looks amazing i mean yeah the legs they get in the way in transformation just the ant legs it's slightly annoying but everything about this is is really good um you can clearly see the six legs here, so I don't know why they decided to add one. I guess it's just for uh, cartoon accuracy. I like all the colors. I mean, the face sculpt itself, that's... Ah, oh, man, I mistransformed him. Hold on. Okay, sorry, we're back. Um, the mandibles were uh, showing, but uh, I love the, the head uh, in robot mode. Looks really good, uh, just like the show. The mouth you know, opens up. Well, it's more like the face lifts up than the jaw drops down. But it looks really good. The face sculpt is pretty amazing. And there's light piping, uh, which it's kind of hard to do with my setting, but it's there. Looks really good. I mean, he looks maniacal and evil and loyal to the royalty. 
You have the Predacon logo here. Kind of pale for my eyes, so that's pretty good. Um, I like uh, when, you know, logos are hard. I mean, they were insignias or allegiance are easy to spot. Um, so, yeah, the legs get in the way a little bit. I like the gunmetal on red. Uh, looks good. Uh, the brown. And then super black here. I don't know why they wouldn't use the same paint color, color too. Um, the silver well metallic blue this is this i don't know maybe it's just the light this looks more silver and this looks more blue could be just me uh there's a bit of hollowness um you know waffles uh, at the back uh, but the rest is you know just a little hole here and so not that many uh, holes so that's you know pretty good a lot of people you know dislike waffles with a passion i don't mind it too much i understand the business cost need behind it well, it's not a need it's just it's not even laziness it's probably you know more engineering to do these with holes and stuff so just trying to save on plastic for no reason and articulation this head goes 360 i wish he would there, there would be an option to have it um, pop up like for like maybe uh, half an inch so that you could do the rock him, sock him uh, nod from the show. That would have been just fun. Uh, you can ferris wheel this thing, no problem. There's a, uh, the legs don't twist, but there is a merry-go-round at the waist. Um, if you move the legs backwards, lift the arm, you can, well, the butt gets in the way, but you can do the Johnny Cage like this, boom. Not punch. And uh, you have a elbow band, no problem. The hand, well, does the hand rotate by itself? Yes, it does. So it's not stuck to the uh, leg, so that's good. Uh, you have a double uh, joint at the elbow, actually, so it's way more than 90 pretty good so we saw the waist rotation you have a uh, leg rotation here you have the uh, knee band and actually because of transformation you have this little motion here not really useful but it's there and then you have the ankle tilt and you have the back and forth with the foot uh, but that's more because of transformation what else you got Oh, well, in the back, that's really pretty neat. So basically, you have this, if you, you know, this is not used for the abdomen, well, yeah, I guess it's called the abdomen for the uh, the ant mode. It's just for the uh, flight mode. And it spins. You know, it's pretty darn good. And then you can remove that, you know, put it down if you want to have a less apparent uh, version. But if you don't like this, uh, just stick it out. And you can take this, flip it down, oops, sorry, like this. So now you can see more of an organic abdomen in robot mode at the back. It's all depending how you want to display your stuff. Overall, really happy with this guy he's not as impressive as tarantulas but he's pretty darn good it's a little back heavy though so i'm gonna put this down so that he doesn't fall back and here we go all right let's do some size comparison with the queen of the hive beast war megatron from the kingdom line the traitor dinobot and the Rock'em Sock'em winner, Rhinox, from the Kingdom line. Destruction to all who threaten us! The royalty commands it! Alright, and now let's do transformation. So we're gonna remove this. And then the first thing you have to do is pull this up. Open this. Flip this out. And then flip this in. And as you flip in, it kind of all puts itself together. 
to give you that nice head like this and we're done and man he looks really good uh, the legs are a little harder to you know make go even uh, like uh, tarantulas for instance like there's they could use like this one has two articulation these two could have used the same thing I don't know, there's kind of a smudge to it. Maybe, I don't know, it looks like glue. Maybe dripped, or, I don't know. Or maybe that's a wanted effect. Who knows? Because, yeah, the, the legs forwards there, they, they don't really touch the ground properly. Or maybe, yeah, there's no articulation to... Doesn't matter, I mean, he looks really good. I mean, okay, from underneath, yeah, full of robot parts. But... This is an ant, man. This this is no pun, sorry. But this is really good. I like this guy. This guy was, you know, such a interesting character. He became more of a comic relief uh, in season three, but still very, very uh, interesting. Um, the articulation, well, like I shown the legs, this one will move, you know. And then there's a another uh, mushroom peg here. So this move, this one will go back and forth, and then this one will go up and down. Oh, and the mandibles will, these small ones don't move, but the big ones do. And then you have the antennas here. Which, I'd say a very neat feature. Like the eyes, I like the eyes. Really nicely done. The texture of the shell looks really good imagine if they could do pretenders like that you know that'd be that'd be something interesting i like the colors you know the light red and then the i don't know what this would be called um, it's kind of like super dark pink purple something i don't know kind of silvery glow to it it's really nice you can tell that because I'm colorblind, I never actually focus on learning special colors name. And then here you have a darker uh, red painted over the uh, light uh, red of the plastic. So it's this is painted, this isn't painted, this is painted, this is painted. The legs are not painted. It looks really good. Let's do some size comparison. Um, let's start with... Kingdom Golden Disc Collection Terrazor. I really like this uh, figure. Transformers Legacy Tarantulas, which is by far one of the most impressive figures of Legacy. This is the quality that we want from Hasbro. And his nemesis, I guess, nah, but uh, his uh, namesake, Inferno from the Kingdom line, which is one of my favorite molds. And to have these two together, it's kind of cool. All right, so let me put this guy back in robot mode and do my final thought. In the end, I'm super happy to have this guy in my collection. This maniac has been one of my favorites since day one. The moment he arrived, his whole logic circuit, uh, you know, being overwritten by his beast uh, instinct was, or insect instinct, was something very different from every other character. Uh, he made for great comedy in season two. He became a comic relief, you know, by being smashed a bit like... Uh, Waspinator once in a while, uh, and then he uh, had somewhat of a you know unfitting end uh, for such a uh, strong warrior. You know, he ended up being a I think he, it's a drum. Like he's one of the the head that you see the humans uh, drum on uh, at the end of the show. So I really dig this guy, and um, you know it'd be nice to see a new big Beast War show with uh, these guys uh, come back. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also leave a comment, I love reading those, keep coming back, I have more on the way, and remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care!